Mmm. Oh, that coffee's so good. But you know what goes really well with a cup of coffee? A nice, fresh, Hyper Awakening Road event in Voldis Power Pass. That's right, we got it this morning. And uh, last night on stream, you should have been there. If you weren't, you missed out. It's it's really, it's your own fault. But uh, guys, you gotta seriously start coming out to the stream. It is way too much fun. Uh, I'm on Twitch, come on out. I'm gonna be live later today. But we made Dubla Vinci, and it was a freaking blast. But first things first, I wanna go through this whole road to awakening, or the road of awakening, a road in hyper awakening. I don't know what the little word between road and awakening and hyper is, but that's fine. Uh, the first thing you need to do, guys, all right, we're gonna go from point A all the way to point Z in this video. So first things first, you gotta make a character. So I made mine last night, however, if you didn't, you'll just go to create a character, pick whichever class you'd like, and then you'll be brought to this screen where you get to customize your character. At which point, as you can see, you can design your character here. They've got plenty of options, lots of different things that you can do, and then you will create your character. You will create the name or get the name. Hopefully it's still there. Fingers crossed if you've got a really clever one. Um, but yeah, we got Dubla Vinci, and then you'll hit create character. I'm gonna go ahead and use the event power pass. Double check, triple check, make sure it's on the right person. Make sure it's on the character that you want to use it on, okay? Seriously, because this is such a good opportunity. So if you're hesitant, you're not sure which class that you should use it on, there are a couple options, just real quick. So um, you can, if you really want to, you can, this is what I've done in the past to test out classes. Uh, because I wasn't sure you can make a new account guys you can make a new steam account Just go make one and then you can use the power pass on that character And you can kind of like test it out and if you you know if it turns out you don't like it well Well done now. You don't have to waste it on your real account or your main account um, That's a good option to test out a class or if you're just teeter-tottering between two or three classes that you might have that are around 1540 um, or below 1540 that you want to use the power pass on just wait a little bit Just don't FOMO you don't have to use it today or tomorrow. You have a little bit of time to use I think you have about Three weeks three or four weeks to use it I think so just take a couple days make your decision and use it properly But we're gonna go ahead and use power pass boom event pass boom Voldis use event pass Yes, and here you select your road, your destiny, if you will. And with this destiny, we are going to be the artist we were meant to be, Dubla Vinci. I choose this destiny. We can look at the events. Road to Hyper Awakening? Okay, Road to Hyper Awakening. Now this is how you will activate the actual event where you get all the juicy honing buffs, all the juicy mats, all the juicy everything onto a character. You can only have one character, you can only do this one time, so make sure you do it on the right character. Just like with the power pass I mentioned earlier, that I believe the power pass ends on the 14th or the 18th of December. I think the 18th of December it's, it's done. Okay, but this, the event, will go until the 15th of January. That's probably going to be the next, like, major, major update for us. So, it will last until then. Alright? So, you don't have to do it today or tomorrow. You can wait a little bit of time. Alright? Just relax. Make sure you do it on the right character. Okay? This is a big one. If you're not sure what to do, maybe you should come by the stream. Talk to everyone about it. We got the chat. We got me. We can discuss. All right. Start event. Just kidding. I'm on a horse. You cannot do that when you're on a mount. Okay. Just kidding. I have to open this chest first. Guys, we're having some technical issues. So you spawn in with the chest. You get some runes. So I'm going to go ahead and go boom, boom. Just accept all those. Fantastic. Uh, accept these mounts because I do not want them in my inventory. Sure, I'll get the red one this time. 
Sure, I'll get the white one this time. I got the brown and the black one already. All right, so we open this chest up. And guys, don't be too worried if you open the wrong gear set. All right, these are all different gear sets. These are about to go away anyways. All right, we're going to get an update in a few weeks, I think. That is going to make these all irrelevant. However, you do want to get it for the next, you know, through a few weeks you want to be you want it to be correct you can change it but it's nice just to have the right one right off the bat i know i have to have yearning because i'm a support player so that's what i will do if you don't know which one to do then you can go into a stream ask somebody comment on youtube you can ask uh, or you can go to lost ark nexus and they will have guides there they'll have uh, guides on maxroll.gg you can look there as well so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and then open and it will give me a bunch of things to equip. We're 1540 now. Okay. That gear made us 15 for, oh my gosh, you got a little floppy bunny ears. That's kind of cute. Okay. 1540. Now we get to use the event. First things first claim reward. Look at all this juicy stuff. You're going to get claim. Give it to us. We get all of this. Boom! Okay, we open this, we get some materials. <clears throat> Personally, I like to organize these things down here in the bottom left, uh, but that's just me. That is just me. And we get a lot of other stuff, however, not, oh wait, we have subsequent chests in these okay now you're probably wondering how do we get to honing well you're gonna open up your map the honing is up here personally i don't like honing in kalinar i think it's cursed so i am going to go to punica i like honing in punica so we'll go ahead and get it in here now we're gonna start honing so you just have to if you're a brand new player and you don't know what honing is, of course you can look up a guide on it if you'd like, but you have to load the piece, right? You have to infuse these honor stones into the piece first. Uh, guys, yeah, I don't think they're gonna give us enough. That is crazy. Uh, I think we're gonna have to do some dailies or something. And we don't even have any books for the first, for the first thing? Guys, did I miss something here? Yeah, they don't even give us books. Okay, so let's see maybe if there's some in, in the event shop. Do I have some with the Makoko event here? Can I get some books? Can I get some books? Nope, surely there'll be some books. Okay, so there's some books for the for this winter season event. Um, up here on the right, you can click event shop. And for the Freha Island event shop, you get these events through doing dailies. This is what you'll do just do like chaos dungeons guardian raids to get some of these books um which i would recommend you do uh, i don't want a home without having better percentages and using those books okay so you want to use the books always you always want to hone with books if you can um, also i only have six thousand shards which is not that much okay so each tap takes 432 for these and for the weapon it's 720 i don't think i'm gonna have enough without doing some dailies okay so you might have to go in and do some chaos dungeons or if you have materials just laying around that are tradable materials or like from the past events then you can use those but i'm gonna go ahead and get doing some dailies real quick okay so after doing a couple chaos dungeons literally two chaos dungeons and then collecting this reward oh you can't see it's over my head after collecting this reward i got i have seventy six thousand honor shards so i'm gonna be good on that and uh, i got some more materials as well so that's good um, i will say this event does not if you're used to having the uh style settings portion for it to like set up your gear your gems all that kind of stuff this does not have that so um, you do get some gems like a gem pouch for level five so you will have to kind of create your own build again if you're not sure how to or where to do that you're not sure what skills to use go to the lost ark nexus go to maxroll.gg they'll have build guides there 
But after doing that, we have quite a bit of honor shards and we're gonna go buy some books like we talked about just a second ago. So I'm gonna go down here. We'll see how lucky we can get, man. I mean, we're pitting extremely quickly, quickly, which is good. I am gonna have to buy some more books though. We just used all those 20 books. Let's buy some more of these books here. Yeah, we'll buy we'll buy 20 more. Can we get a 12%? Can we get a three tap? We can get a three tap, okay. It seems like this event so far is very much more so like an ongoing event. It's not really meant to boost you so fast like uh, Ignite servers did. Even though I do feel like boosting you through to 1580 should have been done for sure. And we got to buy some for the weapon as well. We got to buy some books. So we got five of those books and we're going in. It's, it is a good thing that only costs silver and materials though to hone to 1580. So we're good. We got to 1560, 1550, excuse me. We go back to the road to hyper awakening. Oh, we don't, we open this chest, all right? It is in our inventory. Boom, let's open it up. We open up some more mats we open up some more mats and yeah we have another chest that we can open at 1560 so that's good did they give us shards they did give us shards and they did give us some big boy books so i'm gonna go ahead and put those down here so let's see here real quick let's see if the shards that they gave us okay so the shards they gave us were pretty solid okay take that all right well, it looks like we're gonna buy some more books Although you are really just using silver and mats, so it's not a massive concern, but it will get you through this process quicker. Okay, so now we get to open this chest. We have more materials to open. And so really you'll just keep doing this until, it looks like they're giving you enough shards. Well, hold, maybe they're not giving you enough shards because this looks a little sus. Yeah, we're, you're not gonna have enough shards for this level. So you are gonna have to either use like tradable mats that you have to get past this or event boxes that you may have. You could, you could use these, but I personally, I would suggest that you do not do that. I would suggest that you use these for tier four once you get there. I would not waste these for tier three um, however, it is your prerogative, so if you'd like to do that just to rush through this initial part, then you definitely could. This is pretty much how you will get through it. You'll just continue to hone, open up the chest, continue to hone, and then, you know, once like this, once you get to 1580, you get a big one, you get a level eight gem pouch, you get a lot of good materials through here. I'm also noticing that it looks like the transcendence tickets and the dark fire numbers were reversed here. So this was originally supposed, on the video they showed us, it was 100 Transcendence tickets and 25 Dark Fire. I actually would have preferred that, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so yeah, guys, I, okay, so it seems as if this event is 100% more for a returning or established player. It's not as much for a new player, because to like get you up super quick. I mean, this is gonna be quickly. It's gonna take like a couple weeks, I would say, to get through this entire thing, maybe two weeks, three weeks, um, because they don't give you quite enough materials, especially shards. I mean, we're shard gated hard right here. We can't even load the weapon. Uh, so yeah, I would, I would think that this would take you a, a couple weeks to get through which is fine that's okay the thing is that we are used to having insanely juiced events now we just had a night server so we're expecting it to be absolutely insane which this is not okay so it's going to be really hard to predict how much gold this is going to cost but if we can take a quick little look see here these books though i can't look in this chest i wonder if i can that's unfortunate oh but i can't look in this chest so these, oh, these do not give you gold back. These do not give you gold back. So I think what it's going to be is it's still, you know, you, you can still use these books as well. Guys, you can still buy these books, which I would highly suggest you doing. These will take you all the way up to 1620. As you can see, it's 16 to 19 plus 19 is 1620. 
um, for the Akon armor, which is the decay, right? These are the decay. That is for the Akon armor. That's what you'll use after you hit 1580. Um, so. It's definitely not bad, but it's gonna cost somewhere around 60, I would say 60 to 90,000 gold to get your character to 1620. That's what it's looking like because the honing costs are reduced by half pretty much and you have double the chance to hone. Plus you have pity at average luck. Basically you pity right at average. So it's gonna cost about 60 to 90K gold just based on that. Um, so yeah, I would have loved to completely finish this thing for y'all, but it is, it is not looking like it. This, this event was not designed for that and that's okay. All right. I know there's going to be an uproar about it. People are going to be upset because we're, again, we're used to the ignite event. Okay. But this event is definitely more geared toward the legacy server players, not the brand new players. However, a brand new player can use it, but it's just not going to boost you up insane okay it is a very good boost it's a very good event but ignite event the or the ignite servers were just insane so of course we're expecting something kind of similar to that and this is not it this is more like a normal a normally made event just to boost your character right so guys with that being said that's pretty much everything for this video again I'm going to be streaming later today. Come hang out, man. It's a blast. You can join the Discord. It's also a good time in there. But that is everything for this video. Please let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or concerns, anything like that. What character are you making with this Express or with this? Not really a Makoko Express. It's, it's like I said, it's just more of like a boost event. So what character are you going to make with this boost event? Um, and if you're hyped for the upcoming news, we got low on and we have our roadmap for the West coming out directly after, but it's going to be insane guys. We got a lot of cool things coming to Lost Ark. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.